Hello, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, um, here to do a little bit of a tutorial. I've got to make a couple of uh, little mini albums for a swap and I thought I'd just film and go take you along with the ride. I'm using Tracy's Fox Love Junk Journal Silhouette Kit. Whoops. And her the silhouette ephemera. So um, what I've done, I've started a little bit of it, cut out some of the ephemera, ready to play with. I've just done a little folder, and basically it's six and a quarter and it's big enough for a four and a quarter size little mini album to go to go into the into the pages so it just folds over this will be a little tuck spot I'm going to elastic the um, one signature in there and then I'll decorate this up I've got some little bits of paper that I might make a little um pad out of and this is what I've done for the signature so I've just got some paper this is the um, silhouette paper it's, um, it's just this old we used to use it when I was at school to practice to get our writing in the lines book page there, little piece there, graph paper, some line paper, it's an older line paper, the um, silhouette kit paper, some more of that writing paper and then this is the same on the other side and then this is just a little piece of old book paper that I'm going to make into a little um, writing book. So we've got two little writing books to do. That's going to be there. I'm going to do some little pockets and bits and pieces on those. So what I thought I'd do first up, um, these are, I've actually printed these half the size so that it will fit into the um, book. I've got a little cool pocket corner. I've got some little tags. I've got an envelope. And um, we'll decorate those up. And there's another little pocket there as well. So I'll just start... So it's basically a craft. I was going to do this and I thought, well, I might as well turn the, t I was going to say turn the telly on, turn the video on and just um, let you come along. And um, it's going to be um, fairly basic, I suppose. Um, I've got two to do for the swap. So I might just... I should have done this before, shouldn't I? But I thought I was going to do it anyway, so I may as well do it with you guys, whoever's watching. So, as you can see, you really don't need to do a lot. Um, with this because it's it's all um, done for you. Tracy's does a fabulous job of um, with her printables. I just love them. I cringe every time she sends puts a new one out because I think oh I'll, I know I'm going to buy it. Where do we go that way? So, <clears throat> so that's the little envelope. Now I don't 
normally close my envelopes up. I like to leave them open um, so that whoever gets the journal can write inside and if, then if they want to keep that little bit of journaling secret they can seal it up themselves. So it's just that option. So I'll do that and then I've just got a little brush that I just go over a little bit. Just gives it that little browning. This is just a little makeup brush that I got online somewhere. I don't know if it was um, Wish or one of those. Didn't cost very much. And that's that. And that will be held in with a little, little gold. I'll leave that lid off because I'll probably use it again. A little gold paper clip. And I will just, I only, with the little ones, I only curl one side. Otherwise, it's, so you just, look being so small this one okay so I just grab it at the tip right on the tip and bend it whoops bend it then I get it around the other way and bend it around so that it's so you've got the and then that goes on there and that will go into the book. I'll just pop it on the front cover to start with. Then I've just got some, oops, I won't cut anything, will it? Actually, a bit with bigger scissors. Just some of these little tags. A couple of those. Like I said, I'm not going to do heaps of embellishing in here because it's going to be more for writing than anything. So just a couple of little tags to pop in those pockets that I've got. Printed out. Hubby's just taken the dog for a walk. We've got a standard poodle and he tells my husband when it's walk time he just knows that it's walkies time or if it's the summer hmm it's swim time they go swimming well they've only just stopped swimming actually and uh, they swim every day and if the son's dogs are staying over they go as well and my daughter's labrador they all Shuff off down the beach with Pop. He seems to manage the whole lot of them. He had the four of them the other day, all off down there together, and they run a, around on the beach and have a wonderful time. So it keeps dogs and Pop fit. Okay, so that's the little tag that'll be on the corner of a page. I'll just cut that one off there. So that'll go quite possibly, I'm thinking, no, I think we'll put it on one of the, yeah, we'll put it on one of the pages. I'll do this. So that will eventually get stuck down there on that page and one of these little tags or no we might actually I've got the bigger ones so we might do that I think that looks all right now we will do one of these little pockets and show you those
just makes it so easy doesn't it with these kits um, and you can bling them up yourself you can put your little flowers and mushrooms and all sorts of flowers that you've fussy cut out of books or if you've got some stickers that you've got to pop onto them it, um, it's all up to your imagination of what you want to do with them so this one gets like that <clears throat> And that will go again on, so it could go there, with just a plain, I've got these little bits of paper that I was going to make into a little long, notepad. Where are we? Oops, no. Do that. And then you can use one of these. That's one of the little tags. So instead of using it as a tag, I'll just use it at the top of the little notepad. And that can that's a little spot to, to write on. You can also have one of these, I think, will pop in there as well. little tag in there and then behind you've got the little notepad and this is a little there's butterfly on there and little scissors <coughs> concentrating a bit sorry about that I just don't can't talk and cut at the same, well I can, but you seem to go into a zone, well I do, into a zone. That's that one. Now I've got a little, little butterfly here too. It's a moth I think more than a butterfly, but that will, that's fine. I just think there. And I'll just... Pop a bit of glue on there. And he can go down on that corner. And the little butterfly word. I'll just pop there now. No, I think I'll put it over on this page. I will put it down there. So I'll just pop him down on the corner there.
you could back these on a little bit um bit of cardstock but I've printed them out on photo paper which is 140 GSM gram, gram, GMS grams and um, I think that's okay now I will just pop a little bit of to finish it off a little bit of Sari silk this one will Yeah. turning over a bit and with my trusty little Tim Holtz stapler there's some embellishing on one page already done oh, that looks rather cute We definitely have him there, so I may as well pop that one on as well. And I haven't done the inking. I haven't gone right to the edges just to give it a little bit of a definition there. And because I'm putting elastic around this um, signet as a signature, um, I'm just decorating it before I put it into the to the album. And I I sometimes decorate before, and I sometimes once I've got the pages in the album. I do all my sewing before. Um, at the moment my machine's up at the doctor's having a bit of a checkup. It started to make some funny noises so I thought well, it was about time to take it up and have it checked out. So there's that one. And I might even hop. What have I got here? Yeah, perhaps I'll do that. I'll just cut this little guy out. Do a bit of a quick fussy cut around the edges. him on the corner there and I might even says she after she's done the inking for a little bit more definition there I'll just pop this one This one we might just pop over. It's there. Where's it got? That's on this one. Just popping over the edge there. something on the 
this one perhaps. Let's see. A couple of bits on two pages. Let's let's do this. And I'll just pop some glue around the side there. Pop him off on an angle. Yep. And then he can, and we can pop that one under there. Little bit of sari. There. Yep, I thought I'd done that. Now we do, let's do another corner. Okay. <clears throat> You got a bug too. I might just pop that little one there, I think. Let me just give him a bit of ink. This is out of the kit too. This is just a bit bigger than this is the um, printed at the normal size, 100% that was intended. Got another, should we put a big one? Let's put a big one. Pop a big one. Might even end up popping two in these pockets. I think I might need a new foam on my blending tool. Let's 
that one and so let's have a look. That bit there. Clear a bit of the rubbish away. So we've got the first page. some writing and I haven't got anything there have I perhaps we need something here what do we need here pocket pocket let's put that pocket there This is how I go. I just sit down with the the gear and just whatever speaks. I guess we're all a bit like that. Whatever speaks to us, we go with. There are times when I've really planned things out and I've got them all worked out and I go to put it in the book and it goes entirely different because I've decided that I'm not not a hundred percent liking what I decided on and so I just figure it's easy to get your number of page get the number of pages that you want to use and then decorate as you go. Especially for a little project like this, I mean it's only I think there's only about ten pages. So, oops, a little bit higher than that there. Uh, wouldn't you read about it? Yes, they're easy to, to redo. Just a fraction too long. too long. Sorry if I'm mumbling, I'm just when I concentrate I tend to go quiet by the Okay. So we've got two in there. So that's a bit better, you come to something there. 
to get that one. Oops. Now, with this kit also, there's a couple of these little tags which I quite like to go. We might have to end up putting a paper clip here as well, I think, because it's so small. Yeah, that looks nicer. <clears throat> So they're, they're um, a double tick, a double tag. So leave them as they are. Once again. And then just pop that over the top of the, of the page, which looks which is effective. I think I've got another one of those somewhere that I might pop there. Where did I put you? There it is. Back here, we haven't got a lot there, so I'm going to put another envelope over that, over that little, over that page. around the edges fold him up and I'll just do the inside there Take the stark, starkness off that page. Okay. Fingers and thumbs. Okay, so that one I'll just pop over. Pop it this way because the other one was the other way. So there we go. So I think that's for a little little mini. We've got that little pocket and two little tags. We've got the little tag that folds over the page, got the little envelope, all these little paper clips, I'll go around and do that too. Some journaling space, a little pocket with the tag there, another one that goes over the page, a pocket with the tags and the little 
notebook. And then a little tuck spot with the tag, the envelope, and another tuck corner pocket with the tag, and then the back page. So that's the book. How long have we been going? Sorry to put my big head in. Oh my golly, we've yeah. So I might leave it at that. Um and we will um make those little booklets on the next video. Uh, sorry for my head going in like that. I've got a new setup trying to work it out and it's um I must remember to look at the clock in before I start next time. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you wanted to give it a go, it's, um, yeah, craft along with me, whatever you'd like to do. I shall see you next time. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.